Hi guys, welcome back to the channel and welcome to August's vlog. Seriously, as soon as I open my mouth to say anything, the guinea pigs are at the water bottle. Yes, okay, let's take a break to munch on some pellets and then step away from the area, please. So anyway, I will admit we are a little late with starting this vlog. It is already the 8th of August, so we are about to start the second week. Um, and seriously, the first week was just so busy. There was zero chance for filming at all. But you know, that's how it is sometimes. And this month we are going to start off with some unboxing, which is definitely becoming a theme of these vlogs, and some piggy reactions. Hopefully to make up for the lack of piggy footage in July's vlog. So so first of all, we have <laughs> this massive box of hay. And I am quickly discovering that I need a taller tripod because I can't actually stand up with this one. It doesn't quite go high enough. But yeah, for those of you who don't know, hay box is where I get the guinea pigs sort of luxury Timothy hay, basically. I have always had dust-free meadow hay. And then lately I have been experimenting with different sorts of Timothy hay. And I have settled on the hay box brand, which is grown in the UK. It it is the best value of many brands that I've tried and it is of course very good quality hay. The guinea pigs really enjoy it so I've done several orders with them and then this is the latest box. We are going to open it and have a look now. And there we have it. It is that really nice lush fresh green hay that is Timothy hay and there are several little flower stems in there as well. Um, it just smells so fresh and so good. I know the guinea pigs are going to enjoy this one. They're squeaking already. Are you? Are you squeaking? What is it? Hi. <laughs> I think you need a bit of a poop sweep first though, don't we? Nice big handful in there. Are you gonna come, Lyra? Lyra is just loving that tunnel at the moment. Whenever I put in a fleecy tunnel, she is the one to just say, this is mine. No one else is coming in here. So as we can see, everyone is clearly enjoying the hay. And you can see as well how much greener and fresher it is than the dust-free meadow hay, which I get. The dust-free one is, of course, cheaper. And I use it as their sort of bedding hay. They eat it as well, of course. But um, I usually supplement it with uh, big handfuls of the Timothy hay. I did add some things onto their hay box order because they have various treats and toys on their website and one thing in particular I just could not not get. <laughs> I think you'll understand when you see it. Well, for starters, we've got some fun paper to play with. And then the first thing is some forage that I added onto the order. This is plantain. So the piggies have had this before. I'm not sure if Phoebe and Roxy have actually, but um, definitely Lyra has, uh, Pedro hasn't. <laughs> well, actually, most of them haven't. <laughs> But yeah, this is just dried plantain, which I have had guinea pigs enjoy a lot. That's what it looks like. It's got the sort of plantain leaves with the veins in. She's just about off shot. <laughs> you can just see the little noses. <laughs> I know, you're very cute. But the main thing I want to show you guys is this. <laughs> By the looks of it, it's something I'm going to have to have a go at assembling, which may or may not be very successful. What we're gonna do <laughs> is come back to this shortly <laughs> when I have more time to work out how on earth the thing goes together because my brain at the moment can't handle it. I know Pedro. It's exciting, isn't it? Ta-da! Okay, 
Here we go. Queen girls. He's gonna get everything. <laughs> oh yeah. Shall we help you out there, darling? He's pulling the pegs. Yay! That is seriously so much fun for the piggies. <laughs> yeah, you missed a bit right here, mate. I think they really really enjoyed that and it's so good how it's got the little pegs and it's got the holes in the um, sticks stand <laughs> you know what I mean so it's got like double enrichment really and it's such a simple idea but it's really really fun and I think it's definitely a good thing to bring out for the piggies just so that they can get their vegetables in a slightly different way so definitely a thumbs up from all of us don't you agree mate? So me and Lyra are back and I just wanted to do another little unpackaging of something that I kindly got sent through Etsy. And thank you so much Faye from Weeking Simple for sending us this package. Everyone has come to have a look now. So the Weeking Simple shop on Etsy, I was super impressed with all of their products. I love how creative Faye is, how you give everything such cute little names and sort of themes with it all and it just really makes you want to collect everything. So she just basically got in touch and said that she wanted to send us something to give back to the community and I just thought that's so sweet and such a lovely thing to do. I'm going to dive right in and have a look and that is just adorable. Oh my gosh! Oh and that is such a lovely card. Thank you so much. Everything is gonna be okay. Everyone is being very noisy over there. I don't know what they're missing over here. Oh my gosh, I can sort of see it through the tissue paper. Oh, they are so cool. So these are the snuffle mats that she does in all sorts of different fleece combinations and I think the idea is your piggies can lie down on here but then they can obviously use it as a foraging toy, you can hide treats and stuff in there. Pedro especially is going to really enjoy uh, snoozing on one of these. Are you watching Pedro? He's just there. Well, he's not watching, he's sniffing around. What is he buddy? Is he something new? That's so cool! It's like jungle vibes and oh wow! I can't believe all this stuff that you've given us! Thank you so much! Look at that! Oh it's Halloween as well! Oh we could definitely use these for lap time! So she's included these different ones and just like with the snuffle mats all of the forages sort of have their own themes and their own cute little names. So here we have Down to Earth, Meadow Remix and Peppermint Raspberry. And if you want to check out the Weeking Simple store then I will pop her link to the Etsy shop in the description below. And once again Faye, thank you so much from me and all of the piggies. Hi everyone! So if you've been following my vlogs you will know that I do have a minor plant obsession. <laughs> I did manage to keep plants mostly out of the August vlog, however I did feature some in the room tour and 
<laughs> basically plants are taking over the house as well as guinea pigs but well they've already taken over the house but don't worry plants will in no way replace guinea pigs I just thought it would be fun to show you guys some of the latest plant purchases I have got off a website that I've been drooling over for quite a while Oh, these are so cute. Up till now, I've only ordered little cuttings of plants and um, this website does baby plants in tiny little six centimeter pots. And oh my gosh, I'm, yeah, I'm super pleased. Let's get them all out. I went a bit mad and ordered like, I can't count. <laughs> I ordered seven, that's how many I got. It's called Friends or Friends. If you're into your plants at all, then you might have seen them popping up like everywhere. Instagram, Facebook ads. Uh, maybe it's just me, but I've been inundated with ads and basically, yeah, they worked. <laughs> I've ordered a lot of plants. <laughs> Aren't they just beautiful? So really quickly, I got this, which is a variegated rubber plant. I got this, which is a type of calathea. And there's also, this is another calathea. That's a rattlesnake calathea. That is an aglionema. This behind is a little uh, cygonium, I think it's called. And this one is the alocasia black velvet that one was a little bit more expensive but all of the others were literally like five pounds each and i think for all them beautiful plants that in the uk we would never get these in garden centers unless i live somewhere where the garden centers are really boring <laughs> but i doubt that um yeah we would just never get these in shops and it's so cool that we can order them online now so i am very much looking forward to these little plants settling in and acclimatizing to their new home with us <laughs> Yes, for anyone who's wondering, we do still have the resident pigeon and no, we haven't been able to catch him despite our best efforts with the cardboard box mad contraptions. <laughs> so one night I almost managed to close the window but then he flew off when I got too close and since then he's been really easily spooked. So at the moment we are just taking things slow and over the last week we've definitely seen an improvement in that he's been coming inside to eat. So people are probably going to think I'm mad, but some people do actually keep them as pets and I'm starting to see why. He or she is really quite smart and I'm hoping will continue to warm to us. Now obviously the plan is still to get him to a bird rescue as they are a bit like guinea pigs in the respect that they are very social birds who do better with their own company. So hopefully he or she can find a great new home with some pigeon friends. Okay, trying to demonstrate how to tame guinea pigs pigs is not easy when you have four ravenous piggies doing literally anything to get to the food. I thought I'd just include a few bloopers from the taming video which did actually go down really well even though it was complete carnage trying to film it. But it was really popular so if there are any other topics or questions around taming then please drop me a comment below letting me know just what you'd like to see. Also one thing that keeps cropping up lately is a lot of comments asking for sewing tutorials and I'm not ignoring you I promise. The reason why it's taking longer than I thought is because I really want to produce some kind of patterns for you guys. I know my Etsy shop is empty a lot of the time and whilst I will be making more general items for sale I also know that people love DIY and having a go at doing things for themselves. So I'm working out how to use Adobe Illustrator at the moment so I can make some patterns that can be printed off along with a set of instructions 
instructions as well as the video of course. Just give us a thumbs up and include the word patterns in your comment below if this is something you want. I'm pretty sure it is but I just want to gauge how many people would actually be interested in it. It seems like not a lot has happened this month apart from a great deal of unboxing <laughs> but I hope you enjoyed the vlog anyway and getting to see what the piggies have been doing over the last few weeks. So we're gonna leave things there with some chilled out piggies enjoying their newly cleaned cage. Thank you so much for watching everyone and I hope you all have a fantastic weekend. See you soon! Bye bye!